another one that's trending this week, um, Summer Ray, who is a Instagram model and has been for a few years now, um, about 25 million followers on Instagram, a few million on, on X. So um, she, basically an Instagram millionaire. Yeah, so she she went a few days ago on social media on X, and she uh, we're going to post it here for everyone to see, but she said she's fallen in love with celibacy, mm -hmm. so if you want to date me, we're waiting till marriage. Never going to happen. So um, got a couple million views on that. Obviously, everybody was shitting on her in the comments. It's yeah. like, who are, you know, there's no way in hell you're a celibate, blah, 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 blah. She said to anyone being annoying in the comments about my body count, I actually have a very, very low body count and only have slept with um, guys that, you know, she's been in a serious relationship with. She's never had a one-night stand, and she always has a three-month waiting rule. Um, thank you very much. But um, the, the problem is that people think is a problem is what the photos after that, you know, every day after that, she's posting photos showing her ass, showing her body, continuing to show photos like that and saying, oh, I'm sure you're celibate. How did she? They're killing her in the comments. How did she? Let's look. Uh, she, she's in her 20s for sure. Let's see what her age is. Listen, um, I'm going to tell you this right now. Man ain't stupid. <laughs> Your body counts over 10. That's for sure. And I, I mean, I, I, I would say... She's 27. 27. She's probably fucked 25 men. Period. And guess Bruh. what? You think a man should wait for you after 25 or 15 bodies? I, I give it a take and say 15. But I, I say 15 to 25 men have slept with you, right? So I don't. I, I encourage everybody, if this is a, a, a direction you want to go and you don't want to have sex and you want to wait, cool. But for some women, you can't do that if you already fucked 25 men. How is that fair for a guy coming in and, and you know this secret. Some of these women died to their graves and they're not telling a man their body count. And these simps come in. And they fall in love with a woman not knowing that his own wife has slept with a hundred bodies more belongs to the streets. More than him. He's probably only slept with five women. She had beat him by 95 bodies. And I'm looking at this picture right now. This girl is sexually still dressing a certain way where only men you are attracting on guys who gonna buy you something and sleep with you. You and, and listen, some women can control. When you got money and power like she does, she could tell a man he has to wait 90 days. She has that power. She's a millionaire. She, it, it, all I'm uh, Listen, Drake better get his girl. Okay? Drake, get your girl. I think the problem is maybe <laughs> she's telling the truth. Let's tell, give her the benefit of the doubt. She say she's telling the truth. She's only been with guys who she's been in a serious relationship with. She makes them wait, blah, 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 blah. But you want to now attract a man that is going to ask to date you or try to chase you and then wait till marriage, but you're trying to attract them with pictures like this. What kind of a man you think you're going to attract with these Only pictures? simps, bro. Men with power and money are not going to entertain these women. We well, already, they will, but only for one night. That's the problem. But, but listen, she can say no. It has to be somebody like Tom Brady for this woman to give up the pussy in one night. <laughs> it has to be somebody like Drake. Like I said, Drake, get your girl. You got to understand. Women like this, when it comes to men that make as much as she does or make two, three million dollars a year, they not in control, period. If a hundred million man come in there or a billionaire come at her, she's going to think and operate differently. That's just a reality. She's doing this because she's teasing you people. Don't be an idiot. She's an Instagram model. This is for clicks and bake. This is all about money. This is what it is. I'm not stupid. I know her hustle. I got females that I talk to personally. I mean, that I know that I, I fuck with that have more followers than she does or almost close to her to a million, to a half a million, to six million. And, and they, it's a hustle. It's clickbait. They're going to show a little bit for them to get a check because they can sell a brand. They making hundreds of thousands of dollars doing this. Can you imagine what Kim Kardashian makes off of social media? I, I, I would probably think probably five to ten million a year or more. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe 20 million. So oh. when you put yourself out here like this, she can say one thing, <laughs> but the picture shows a different thing. And it's going to, of course, they're going to kill her in the comments. They have every right. You yeah, can't, I mean, you can't be out here saying you're going to church on Sunday, but you're looking like a whore. You can't, you can't do that. I, I think she's in a position where 
Um, she just got to make better decisions. Drake, get your girl. Because, listen, <laughs> you cannot be putting yourself out there and then telling people you're not, you're not fucking nobody. Like, you can't be out here sexualizing yourself like this because men still go... I can imagine, bro, how many DMs this woman get. Yeah. Let me let me get your passcode. She's probably gotten over a million in the last five you years. You and me, listen, privately, let's look at each other Instagram and let's just go around and just let's just see. I I would just want to see. I I think I'll be entertained by all the DM of celebrity men that hit her up. I want to see the niggas with the celebrity names. That's what they are saying, what they're offering. Celebrity news. What are they offering you? That's what I want to see. So hit me up privately. I will never expose you ever. If you hit me up, I know you come into uh, Arizona. Ain't she gonna be out here? Yeah, she's gonna be in Scottsdale next week. Um, but hit me. Yeah, here's the comments. I mean, you see, if you look at me, guys, I'm celibate. Quotes. Another guy. You talk about waiting till marriage, then you post this. And it's just more of the same. I mean, I mean, you everybody's see her, you just see laughing her, about it. You see her ass straight out. What she wearing? Yeah, but listen. She, this is not by accident, bro. I'm teaching y'all guys something. This is an Instagram model. This is about clickbait. This is what they do. They tell you something, and you guys believe them for them to make millions of dollars. She's probably made already a quarter million dollars from this photo and 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 telling you guys exactly what she wants you to hear. This is the world we live in. This is the West. This is America. This is what America's doing to our youth, to our families, to our fathers, to our mothers. They're pushing everybody into this narrative, right? So keep in mind, France... Just elected their first gay president. I think I think he's the youngest too. So yeah, the world's changing. So if they're pushing these narratives where women can sexualize themselves and don't have to cover up, but these women still deserve a husband, and then they push the narrative where man can be gay and they Why are you gay? I don't know. <laughs> Why are you gay? <laughs> you are gay. Yes. You are. But when they do these things, it, it, it pushes a narrative where it fucks up the children. That's what y'all not understanding. Either the young children sexualize themselves and they, they dance to a song by, uh, what's her name? Sexy Red. Sexy Red. That's three-year-olds that know the lyrics. That's crazy. A three-year-old, four-year-old knows the lyrics. Yeah, they were doing karaoke on that oh, clip we did last Jesus week. Jesus Christ. They're knowing the I lyrics. I just still want to know who the hell was filming. A woman. And pushing this out there. A woman. But pushing that narrative, right? And then they pushing a narrative where kids, it's okay to come out. It's okay to like boys at 19 years old, telling them to be gay or giving them pills to have sexual uh, 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 feelings for a man to operate like a female. This is the world we live in. So we got to be we got to be careful. We got to save the world because if we don't save the world, this shit is going to still be operating. But listen, I'm going to tell her real quick. Hit me up privately if you want to. I want to see them DMs. I can imagine what what the celebrities that you can sit down. Man, we could put you on a show. Sit down, come out here, sit on the show and let's let's talk about the celebrities. I mean, be the Cat Williams. Do what Cat Williams did. For real. I, I can, can you imagine what's in her DMs? Can you imagine? Yeah, I mean, it's she doesn't go through them. It's just, it's too overwhelming and a waste of time. Bro. So, good luck to her. Yeah, for sure. To finding the guy who's going to wait till marriage and then being celebrated. I'm going to say this. I'm gonna say I this, wish her the best. I'm going to say this in 20 seconds. She's not going to find him. She's not. That guy doesn't exist because men who truly, truly have money and they vet a woman, they do not want women like this. They do not. Thank you for watching. The Cash Money Dreams podcast. Like and subscribe. Follow us on every platform. Stay tuned. Every week we drop in a new episode. It's your boy Cash, man.